and a volunteer for Travis Audubon Society. Today we're here to talk turkey. With Thanksgiving coming up, you're going to hear a lot about turkeys, so we thought we'd tell you a little bit about them. Here is a turkey egg compared to a chicken egg. And some people might be lucky enough to have that for breakfast. And of course, a turkey. For those who eat turkey, a lot of people prefer the white meat because it tastes a little bit milder. And some people prefer the dark meat because it tastes a little bit gamier. So when you're talking about eating meat from a bird, the dark meat is going to be the endurance muscles. Any idea what this is? It almost looks like another version of the Starship Enterprise from Star Trek. But it's not. It's the keel of a turkey. And the keel is where the flight muscles attach. And the flight muscles on us would be the chest muscles here, and our chest muscles attached to a sternum. And on a bird, you have a keel, which is really big, which gives a lot of room for muscle attachment. So when we look at the keel of a turkey compared to the breastbone or keel of a chicken, you can see there's a lot of difference. And on something like that, the size of the animal is going to determine how big the attachment sites are for the muscles. When we talked earlier about light meat and dark meat, then we talked about the endurance aspect of the dark meat. So those would be endurance muscles. But on a chicken and on a turkey who don't fly except for short bursts, they're not going to have or need as much of an endurance musculature as they would for something that would be faster. These animals are more ground animals, and so their breast meat is going to be white meat, and their thigh and drumstick, the leg muscles, are going to be built more for endurance. Some people might, might not be eating turkey this Thanksgiving. Some people prefer duck or geese. So when you're eating something like that, it's going to mostly be dark meat because these birds fly quite a bit. So they're going to have a lot more endurance musculature. So the breast on a duck or a goose is going to be dark meat. Something else you might find on your turkey, the wishbone. We said earlier that the keel, or the breastbone, is analogous to our sternum, which is right here. The wishbone is like the collarbones are on us. And in birds, they're fused to add stability to the skeleton during flight. For those who prefer the dark meat, we've got the thigh, which is the femur, and that's way up here and everybody's favorite, the drumstick, which would be the tibia. So when you're eating your drumstick, the meat that you're eating are endurance muscles because turkeys and chickens are more ground birds than they are long distance flyers. So they're gonna have their endurance muscles in their legs. For all of us at Texas Memorial Museum, thank you for joining us and we wish